Hello everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. Welcome to another video. I'd like to thank those of you who follow me here. Do so because you want open, logical debate. You want to come to your own conclusions and you really don't believe everything you read in our totally corrupted mainstream media. On that note, let's talk about a very sad topic. I've covered it before. In fact, only last week I made a video about excess deaths. We're seeing excess deaths increase across the Western world over the last two to three years. And one of the drivers of this is undoubtedly younger people who are dying, specifically of heart attacks. What could be more tragic, a younger person suffering a sudden cardiac event? It's something the medical establishment and the mainstream media, who are supposed to be all about open journalism and really looking into things, should be looking into, but they are not. And the medical establishment, there are no excuses whatsoever for not taking this seriously. And let me share this article with you first, showing the staggering rise in heart attacks, fatal heart attacks that we've been seeing in younger people. So this was published on the Today website and just updated within the last week. Young people are more likely to die of heart attacks post-pandemic virus study finds. But why? A recent study found that heart attacks in people aged 25 to 44 increased by 30% compared to the expected number over the first two years of the pandemic. You got that 30%. What a shocking increase. Let's look into what this article is saying then. So they talk about a case of a basketball player at Vanderbilt University who came down with the virus in 2020 and then suffered a bout of myocarditis. And then they talk about how myocarditis increases the risk of cardiac complications because the heart is inflamed. So it appears that the article is blaming the virus for the devastating rises that we're seeing in younger people having cardiac events. So they talk about how since the pandemic began, heart attack deaths across all age groups have become more common in the US. Yes, indeed they have, as they have across the Western world. The age group hit the hardest, people between 25 and 44, who saw a 30% relative increase in heart attack deaths over the first two years of the pandemic, which means the actual number of heart attack deaths were almost 30% higher than the predicted number. Adults aged between 45 and 64 saw an almost 20% relative increase. So let's see what the experts quoted in the article are saying about this. Well, here they have one quote-unquote expert, more than coincidental, and saying that the pandemic virus can greatly impact the cardiovascular system. And they mention here concern about increased stickiness of the blood, leading to blood clots, blood vessel inflammation and an immune system response which seems more pronounced in younger people. And then they talk about the virus and heart disease, and they've listed a few worrisome symptoms here of cardiac illness, which I hope you all already know. Chest pain, discomfort in your chest, often radiating down your arm, weakness, cold sweat, shortness of breath. But of course, let's go to the actual study before we talk any further. Well, here it is here. Excess risk for acute myocardial infarction, that's acute heart attack mortality during the pandemic. And this was actually published a few months ago, but there seems to be more talk about it now. Let's look at the abstract here. How did they do the study? Well, they used data from the CDC's National Vital Statistics System. We identified over 1.5 million heart attack associated deaths occurring between April the 1st, 2012 and March the 31st, 2022. And this is interesting here. Before the pandemic, AMI associated mortality rates decreased across all subgroups. You got that? Heart attack associated mortality actually decreased across all subgroups before the pandemic. These trends reversed during the pandemic with significant rises seen for the youngest aged females and males. The excess death defined as the difference between the observed and the predicted mortality rates was most pronounced for the youngest aged 25 to 44 years, ranging from 23% to 34% for the youngest compared to 13% to 18% for the oldest age groups. And what's this we have listed here at the bottom? Ah yes, the conflicts of interest of the authors. A range of conflicts of interest, predominantly pharmaceutical companies. Always lovely to see that, isn't it? And very reassuring but that is how the science works, right? So there's a lot of different terminology there, acute myocardial infarction, heart attack, cardiac arrest, but typically a sudden cardiac death is caused by a tragic 
fatal cardiac arrest. It could be the heart going into a lethal cardiac arrhythmia or the heart suddenly stopping, asystole. And absolutely devastating when this occurs in a younger person. Those, again, are staggering rises that we've seen in 25 to 44 year olds. And remember, these statistics are a few months old. I think if you dive in and look at later statistics, they are likely to be just as shocking. And we're waiting for that data. We don't have a lot of data yet from many different countries and this is what we need to get. But clearly now the narrative appears to be taking hold that it is the pandemic virus that has caused these alarming rises. What a stretch. But take a look at this headline here from just a few days ago. There's been a surge in heart attacks among younger people. Here's the real reason why. That article is telling us the real reason why. What did they say? Well, they bring up the recent case of Bronny James, the 18-year-old son of NBA superstar LeBron James, who suffered a cardiac arrest while practicing with his college team. In addition, the American Heart Association says that people can suffer from heart problems many months after an infection. To call that a stretch is an understatement, and it appears that everything is heading in that direction with the new narrative, that it is the pandemic virus that is causing these alarming increases. 30% increase in younger people having heart attacks. People who should not be having heart attacks. At that age, of course, it does happen sometimes, but these increases are worthy of serious investigation. And medical establishments across the world, the mainstream media who is supposed to be about open journalism, about diving into issues, are not doing their job. And I've talked before in detail, I won't repeat myself in previous videos about the massive factors that are likely driving these increases in cardiac deaths in young people. There are so many things that should be being discussed that are not being discussed. But what an awful tragedy we are seeing in real time. Our authorities should be more transparent. They should be releasing data in real time so we can see exactly what is happening. But for them to be going down this road, this narrative of pinning everything on the virus, it's not really a surprise when you think about it, when you've seen what's happened over the last few years. But it's bad medicine, it's bad science, it's bad healthcare. Because what happens in the meantime, more and more people suffer while we are not taking this problem anywhere nearly seriously enough. Thanks everyone for listening. Let me know your thoughts down below. Check out my online academy and my uncensored platform. Those links are also down below. Remember, you cannot rely on the system, the government, the media, the authorities to have your best interests at heart. If you want the best for you and your family, you are going to have to take decisions into your own hands. Know the difference between good information and bad information. Make the right health decisions every day, starting with small things like knowing that the middle aisles in US grocery stores are full of pro-inflammatory junk that is going to set you on a path to metabolic dysfunction. Make those right decisions because nobody else is going to do them for you. If you want the best possible life for yourself and your family, understanding that the system is not here to help you get healthy and to help you live the best possible life is crucial. So I hope you can do that. Thanks everyone again. Hit the like button if you like this video and the bell button for more similar videos in the future. We will talk again next time.